Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial on abstraction. Abstraction is one of the core concepts of OOPS and in this tutorial we will try to understand what exactly is abstraction and how we can achieve it. Okay, so let's see what is abstraction. So abstraction is a concept of describing something or some object in a much more simpler form. That means you will try to remove all the non-essential details which are not required to describe the object. In OOPS, abstraction is achieved through inheritance. So let's try to see in a picture format how abstraction looks like. So if there is some object which contains both essential and non-essential details, and we remove the non-essential details and just retain the essential details that process is called abstraction so here is some more detail about abstraction abstraction is all about identifying and understanding the common functionalities and retaining them and at the same time also identifying the functionalities which are not common and which are not absolutely essential and removing them so this can be done you usually you it, you can achieve this using uh, inheritance as we will see in the next slide so here are some examples of abstraction so one of this one of the very common example which is taught while describing or teaching objects is this relationship wherein animal is the uh, parent object and there are two sample animals like dog and cat so animal object will only have the most essential or common details which are with cat, cat and dog for example it might have like number of legs or number of eyes or how it runs but it may not have something like the sound each of them individually make so that will be done that detail will be written at the lower level whereas the top level or the upper level will only contain details which is common to all the objects which might be below this level so this process wherein you retain only the essential details in animal object which is common to all the elements or all the objects below is called abstraction so here is one more example like vehicle so vehicle class a vehicle class can be you know common way to describe many vehicles like for example car bikes or some other vehicles it could be like you know jeep or it could be boats anything but so vehicle class will only contain details which will be common to all the vehicles below and these guys on these objects which are at the second layer will also contain details which may which will be extra something extra which describes a car and this guy will have some details which will have, have some details which uh, will describe a bike but not the car that is also possible so here also vehicle is abstraction of the below layer okay so let's have a look at example of abstraction in Java. So one of the most common examples in Java is the list class or the list interface, uh, which is extended by two classes, which is array list and linked list. So list is an abstraction of objects which might be there in a sequence. And if you want to arrange them in a particular sequence, then you will go to the lower classes, which is like array list and link list so list will contain some common method which will be applicable to both of these but array list and link list could have some methods which will not be there in the list which will be specific to these classes so list is the abstraction of array list and link list some other examples which you can go and look are sets exceptions and there are many more i think java or any object oriented language is full of such examples 
So one way or the way usually you do abstraction in Java is using interfaces and abstract classes. So it's not that only these are the two. You can also use normal classes and they can be extended and, and um, inherited. But usually you will start with interface or abstract classes as the best practice. So here are some rules of presenting, presenting abstraction. Abstract ideas are at the top of the hierarchy and the more concrete ideas will be at the bottom of the hierarchy. So more abstract it is, higher up it will be and more concrete it is, lower down it will be. When there are multiple layers in the hierarchy, the bottom most layer will have most details whereas the topmost layer will have the least amount of details so that is the most abstract layer. So if there is a inheritance and there are two, three, four layers so the class which is at the top layer will be the most abstract and the class which is at the lower levels will have increasing levels of details. So topmost layer should contain feature which is common to all objects below whereas the bottommost layer can contain information which is specific to only that class and which may not be present in the upper layers. So friends I hope this tutorial was helpful in explaining what is abstraction and how you can achieve it. Thank you and if you like it please subscribe to my channel or provide your inputs in the comment section below.